Okay, so let's go ahead and continue. Uh, before, if you're just tuning in, we've changed the DNS servers, and I strongly advise you to view these tutorials in a uh, in the order in which they were posted. But the change of the DNS servers was necessary in order to hide the DNS servers that our from our ISP provider. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and open up our browser. I already have mine open here. And one of the first things that we're going to need to do is to disable uh, WebRTC. I have it written out in the upper right corner. If you can't see it, it's perfectly fine because now I am going to go ahead and type in about colon oops, config and then you're going to it's going to say uh, this this might void your war warranty. Notice that I'm using IceWeasel, which is basically Firefox for Chrome. Uh, it's a little bit of a different procedure if you're using that. Let me know. I can help you out there. In any case, uh, WRTC, uh, WebRTC, sorry, uh, it's used. F it's going to it's going to reveal your it can use to, it can be it can leak your data. Uh, it's some of the things, it's some of the new things that have been embedded into Firefox and Chrome, but in Firefox they've made it relatively easy to disable. I mean, it's not a big deal. You just have to go in the about config. Uh, so it's about colon config, and you're going to get this warning, and this warning is here for a reason. This is not here for, because. Uh, somebody decided that they should just put a warning of some sort for no, uh, for with, without a purpose or anything like that. This is here for a reason. If you go about messing with these things, be sure that you know what it is that you are doing. Otherwise, leave them as they are because you can break your browser to the point where it's no longer going to work or it's going to severely jeopardize your safety. And safety uh, or the safety of your software, the integrity of your browser, etc. So I'll be careful, I promise. Just go ahead and click on it. And in the search bar, you need to search the same pattern that I am searching now here. Let me zoom it in as much as I can. It says uh, media.peerconnection.enabled. Okay, so here it's boolean is set to false you can just double click to change it to true but don't only if this is true double click and change it to false and that is all you really need to do no big deal there uh, so just go ahead and close it just it needs to be false that's all it needs to be just go ahead and close the browser after that and reopen it Type into your favorite search engine, whichever one you're using. I'm just using the default one here. Uh, open VPN free. Just type that in. And I have a, I do believe that I have a site that I've used before. Yep, there we go. So we can, we're gonna, it's VPN book. We're gonna go ahead and use one of these. So I'm going to go ahead and use the German one, but you can use the Canadian one, US one, and I don't know where this one is located. I'm sure we could figure it out, but it doesn't really matter. I'm going to use a German one. You can use whichever one you want. Uh, feel free. So I'm just going to download it. It's going to be in my downloads folder. There we go. Here is the username. I'm going to remember that. It's VPN book. And I'm just going to go ahead and copy the password because now I need to close the browser. So in order to start the VPN, we need to close the browser. We cannot have the browser open while the VPN is running, uh, while we're setting up the VPN. Sorry, my bad there. So we need to set the VPN up, start it, make sure, uh, let it run, and then open up a browser. So browser cannot be opened before that it needs to be closed completely all your tabs the entire browser needs to be closed it cannot be active uh, set the VPN up and only then start your browser then it will work otherwise it won't so or it shouldn't anyway 
Uh, so let's go ahead and type it in. Uh, let's go to this, uh, downloads ls and this file is zipped so just go ahead and unzip it so unzip oops zip vpn book.com and there we go do ls again you will see that you have a good number of these let's just clear the screen to make it a little bit clearer uh, ll is not installed here i can install it i guess but doesn't really matter and i am going to use the tcp 443.openvpn what do i type in i just type in open uh, VPN space and then just go ahead and type this in TCP 443 VPN start it up type in the username the username is VPN book the password is the one that I've copied from the net press enter and just let it run I would advise you to let it run for like a minute uh, for everything to be set up and initialized to be fine and dandy and functional and so on and so forth. Uh, it says here initialization sequence completed. That is what we were looking for and waiting for. Uh, now let's go ahead and start up our browser. And let's go ahead and say type in what is my IP? Okay, so it says that my public IP is uh, this one here, 178.162.193.233. And let's see where will that IP put me. Uh, wait, this is not a good one. Let's go to DNS uh, leak test. Okay, so look, it's putting me uh, in Germany, so that's where I am located at the moment, uh, but not at the moment, that is where this IP is located at the moment. Uh, that is the location for this IP address, and this is the one that is sh uh, shielding my real one. Just to give you an idea of what I mean by it, I can uh, go ahead and open up the terminal stop the this process with control C and let's see will this work if I reload the site I don't think it's gonna actually work I think I shall need to reset the browser and yes I need to reset the browser but you saw that my IP was in Germany and let's do it again DNS leak test and here we go a moment a moment there you go, it says, uh, now it's giving my real IP address. A lot of people cover it up on YouTube, on the net. I personally think it's a completely pointless thing to do because these are dynamic IP addresses provided to us by our ISP providers. And this is gonna change about 20 times by the time I actually publish these videos. Because I tend to, oh, and I can actually change it myself if I just reset the router. If I had, ac I mean, yeah, just reset the router, basically plug it in, plug it out. That's the quickest way to do it. Uh, or you can actually log into your router and uh, release the release the DHCP lease and then acquire a new one. But it doesn't really matter. Do you see the idea? I mean, I had a German one and uh, when I covered myself up and now I have this one. Okay, so let's close it. Let's fire up our VPN again. So VPN book. There we go. It's starting, it's starting, it's starting. Wait for it. Don't don't just go and click and open up your browser immediately. Wait for this initialization sequence completed and then open up your browser and make sure, as I said before, that there are no other browsers that are opened at all. No big deal. Start it up and say DNS leak test. Okay, click on it. Again, I am in Germany. So do the standard test. Okay, uh, now it says the ISP is OpenDNS because I am using OpenDNS uh, DNS servers. 
I know it sounds a little bit confusing because of their name, but basically I am using the DNS servers of this company. Uh, the DNS servers that belong to this company. What is important here? Uh, it's, I mean, I, I know that I've stated before, you can just choose a DNS uh, that is different from your own home country. Yes, that is true, definitely useful, but also keep in mind that the primary thing that you are hiding from, that you are trying to hide is your ISP DNS server. That is the one that you are trying to conceal. So as long as your real ISP uh, DNS server is not listed here and preferably but not mandatory that this is not the country where you are actually located, uh, you are good to go. If your ISP server shows here, the DNS server, your real ISP DNS server, then uh, you have misconfigured something. You are not completely anonymous. Also, uh, if this is your country of origin, I'm not talking about United States, it doesn't matter which one is listed here. I'm just saying that if here it says a country and this could be Czech Republic or uh, Canada, it can be United States as you see here, it doesn't matter. But as long as, if, if that is your country of origin, it's not that bad. Uh, somebody can perhaps see that you are coming from that particular country and that might be your real country where you're located but you know uh, these are public DNS servers if you pick a good one they won't keep log files and you're pretty much good to go because there will be no inform uh, because they won't have records they won't have anything to show uh, also as I said you can pick a DNS server which is not in your own country I appear just for United States because open DNS is in, in United States but doesn't matter as I said it can be any country here and let's say you're a citizen of I don't know Norway and you have a Norwegian DNS server listed here and you're using that one well you can try using a DNS server which is in South African Republic and it's gonna say here South African Republic and you're gonna have a very different ISP here but as I said just make sure that they are reputable now I hope that I have helped you out, that I've shown you how you can set up a free VPN service, completely free of charge, you don't have to pay for anything extra, and how can this actually work out. If you are using VirtualBox, uh, you can also go and, let's go ahead and stop this, you can go under Devices and in Network Settings and change from Bridge Adapter to NAT, because sometimes Bridge Adapter doesn't work for anybody due to the drivers and say OK and now you can reset the network manager so just service network manager restart let's see if I can ping google.com OK NAT is working and let's see if I can connect to the OpenVPN so VPN book put the password and let it let it let it go through Okay, uh, initialization sequence completed. So it does work on, but you see I had my browser open. So this is a bad, bad, bad idea. This is something you should not do. Close the browser and redo this process. Once you have redone, once you have redone it, once you have redone it, open up your browser again. I mean, it's not, it's not like it's gonna reveal you if you're using your browser straight away, but the changes might not be applied to your browser. That's the problem. So DNS leak test. Again, it's working in that just fine, but let's see if the DNS is going to pass. Yep, it will. So NAT, NAT is also working just fine. You can use both NAT and Bridge. Uh, if one doesn't work, try the other. This is just for people who are using virtual machines. Uh, you can switch in between NAT and Bridged for virtual machines, that is. For everybody else, if you're not using a virtual machine, if you're using a real installation, or if you're using a USB, uh, forget about NAT and Bridged. This is all you can and need do. Anyway, I bid you all farewell, and I hope that this was helpful to those who have struggled with, with VPN in Kali 2.0.